You always have this saying of, current's always gonna take the least resistant path to ground. No, it's gonna take all paths that it has, and it's gonna take them in proportion to the amount of resistance or impedance that's offered to that current flow. So if you have seven conductors that are all connecting to each other, and each one's a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger conductors, you're gonna end up having current take multiple different paths, but the amount of current that's gonna take each path is gonna be dependent on how much resistance it can get. But if it's a complete circuit, it's still gonna take that either way. So you don't wanna give it multiple paths between all these different panels. So just make sure if you're gonna have supplementary ground rods, which is allowed by code, just don't connect them to neutral at any of the sub panels. Just make sure each ground rod has, goes to the ground bus, has an equipment grounding conductor that goes to the next panel, that you got a grounding electrode conductor that goes down to the ground bar for the next one, that it's connected to the equipment grounding conductor. And the only place that you make a bond to neutral is still at the service. Super, super important, but yes,